Hi, I'm going to teach you how to cover up your insecurities. You need a sponge that is just a little bit damp, like you've cried on it. And then you need the full coverage theatre makeup. There it is. It's a little bit light, but that's okay because you can just reflect uh, off and into people's eyes so they don't look at your imperfections. Take it all the way down your neck. Cover up all of those wrinkles on your neck, all the red patches. Just get rid of those. All the sun damage you've done to yourself. All of that, just get rid of it. All of the freckles, we don't need to see those. That just tells everyone that you, you've lived a life and you might have opinions and things. So they don't want to know that. So and just keep dabbing this. I think it's the stuff that, that clowns use which is good. So just keep going with that. Even just go right over your eyebrows because they're never as good as the ones you draw on anyway. Go right up into your hairline. Don't worry if you can see it. Block out your whole mouth because it's not the right shape. All the way over your Rudolph nose and that should probably do it. See now that's, that's much better. Next step, we want a lot of powder. Just slap that on. Make sure you get into all of your regrets and painful memories. Get down right into the crevices of everything that you've ever done wrong and you've never apologized for. All of the times you've said bad things about someone and they haven't forgiven you. everything now we're looking quite sick so now what we want to do is actually give ourselves a bit more color so we get our little bronzer all over everything just sort of give yourself just a little bit more color and life that's um, not doing anything maybe we'll just try this one yep that's a little bit better my dog's helping me out now don't lick it off. <laughs> Here he is, my little boy. Don't lick me. Back in your box. No. Back in your box. Okay, we'll just stay. No, just stay there. Okay, we're going to try some of this more intense colour because I'm still looking very sick. Now you want to you want to cover all of your mistakes, but you don't want to make any more. <laughs> that's not something anyone wants to do really, do they? No, no, that's not. So we just want to give yourselves a bit of colour and life. Has that made any difference? I'm actually going to use my palette and just gonna go into the red and give myself just a, a little bit more color there. Oh, that's looking much better. That's, see now I look a little bit more alive. See it go right on your cheeks there. That's what happens. When you block everything out, you can just go on top of that, which is fantastic. Moving on to the eyebrows. What people need to do is actually raise their eyebrows and then just go slightly above, just so you've got a lifted kind of look, interested in life and what people are saying to you because you don't want to appear as though you're ungrateful for their company. That's quite a different line, isn't it? We'll just exaggerate it, I think. So if you do make a mistake like this, just so people know that that was actually your intention. So now that's looking much better. I'm looking much more awake. So now we're gonna go in with some more color and we're just gonna do that all over the lid, starting at the top, cause that's where you want the most intense color. 
you just do a, a sweeping motion, a sweeping motion like so, that shade's really bringing out this blue that I'm wearing. So I'll just do the other eye and then I'll be back. My dog seems to really like it, which is good. And I think I'm looking quite quite bright and, and, and alive. I've just done a little bit of glitter on my eyes there. If you can see, can you see? Oh, sorry. Can you see the, oh, it's, it's messed, it's, um, it's just gone up. But that, I mean, the more the, it looks like it's meant to be over your lid. So that works. So I'm just gonna do just the finishing touches and then I'll be back. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I've just done a bit of a darker eyebrow. I've overlined my lips just to make them look a little bit more full, because as you age, you, your lips do actually crinkle a little bit. I've just done some cute little plaits. Yeah, I think they sort of just make, yeah, just give you a bit of a younger look. And just this, the, these little accessories here, I've just drawn those on. They look like stick-ons. Great, so I'm off to the bottle shop just to grab a cask wine. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I'll see you next time. Bye. Is that how you do it? Oh, this is my clown. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ooh, uh, <sighs> yeah, this is definitely my clown character. <laughs> <laughs> sexy, sexy beast. I'm bored. Come and help me.